Hello friends, once again welcome back to our channel Essential Physiotherapy. In this video, we are going to discuss about the neurological evaluation of the lumbar spine nerve roots. To study the neurological involvement of any nerve root, we should check the sensory changes, motor changes as well as the reflex changes. First, we will discuss about the clinical evaluation of the L1 nerve root. Here is a small portion of your vertebral column from T12 to L5 vertebra. In the red ink, we mark the intervertebral disc. If there is any herniated disc between T12 and L1 vertebrae, the L1 nerve root will get affected. Now, let us see the changes to the L1 nerve root when it get affected. First, we will check the sensory changes. The sensation of the L1 is half the distance between the inguinal ligament and the mid thigh. Next, we have a look on the motor function of L1 nerve root. is the hip flexion done by iliosoyas. There is no reflexes for the L1 nerve root. The disc herniation between L1 and L2 will affect the L2 nerve root. Here is your intervertebral disc between L1 and L2 and the L2 nerve root. The sensory changes of L2 nerve root will seen in the mid anterior thigh. There are three motor functions for the L2 nerve root, namely hip flexion, hip adduction and knee extension the motor hip flexion done by iliosoyas l1 l2 and l3 hip adduction l2 l3 and l4 finally the knee extension by l2 l3 and l4 nerve roots there is no reflex for L2 nerve root. If there is any herniated disc between L2 and L3, the L3 nerve will get affected. The sensory area of L3 nerve root is the distal anterior thigh and the anterior aspect of the knee joint. There is also three motor function for the L3 nerve root namely the hip flexion, hip adduction and the knee joint extension. The hip flexion is done by the iliosoyas as we discussed earlier. Hip adduction is done by the adductor magnus, adductor longus, adductor brevis, gracilis and the pectineus muscles. Finally the knee extension done by the quadriceps. There is no reflex for L3 nerve root. Now, let us discuss about the L4 nerve root. If there is any herniated disc between the L3 and L4 vertebrae, the L4 nerve root will get affected. The sensory area of L4 nerve root is the medial aspect of the leg down to the medial aspect of the ankle joint. The motor function of the L4 nerve root is ankle dorsiflexion done by the tibialis anterior and the knee joint extension done by quadriceps. Next we have a look on the reflexes. The patella reflex is mainly by the L4 nerve root. The femoral stretch test can be positive when there is any herniated disc in between the L3 and L4 vertebrae. If there is any herniated disc in between the L4 and L5 vertebrae, the L5 nerve root will get affected. The sensory area will be the lateral aspect of the leg down to the medial aspect of the foot up to the great toe. The motor function of the L5 nerve root is the hip abduction and the great toe extension. Hip abduction is done by the gluteus medius and the great toe extension is done by the extensor hallucis longus. The straight leg test can be positive when the L5 nerve root get damaged. 
Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel for more videos.